a beautiful day here today in North Carolina. As you can see, the not many clouds in the sky, and the sun is shining. Spring is upon us. The mountains look gorgeous. I don't know if you can get a view of those mountains there, but they just look spectacular. And I am off to the store, and I decided to walk because it's so beautiful out and I need the exercise. So anyway, today I wanted to talk about what it means and how we go about changing our lives, especially when we're a little bit older, we find out or realize that maybe we are not at the exact place we wanted to be at this age, we maybe feel disappointed or unsatisfied with our accomplishments, feel that there's something more to life. Maybe not necessarily having regrets, but feeling like maybe we should have done better, or we could have done better. This is a normal thing, especially when you're approaching midlife. I'm uh, coming up on 50 soon, one more year, and I know these feelings and uh, last year I guess was when it hit me I was in a very big downswing in my life and uh, I was able to um, do some research and work on myself with some friends and professionals to help me realize what it was that I was missing what roadblocks I had and uh, how to release those roadblocks. And I'm going to tell you that release is one of the key things in your life. Releasing blockages and hang-ups and things that are preventing you from success is a key skill to learn that you will use to change and manage your life daily. I just learned the release techniques. Um, probably a month ago. And it's saving my life. It's changed everything. These little hang-ups that I've had since high school and before. And we're on the train tracks now. And... Uh, you know, a lot of our hang-ups have to do with heartbreak. And, uh... I was carrying around some shit with me from high school that was absolutely killing me. It was, it was creating, uh... problems in my current relationships. Uh, with friends. And with women. You know, romantically. For those of you who... don't know me... I'm a widow. My wife passed away about five years ago. I live with my three children, who are all now teenagers, or about to be. And I recently started entertaining the idea of having someone else in my life. Um, we're going on a little walk today. <laughs> this is where I get ticks every time I come through here. I get a tick on me. I'll try to be careful this time. There's a cool spider web. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see. Maybe see that. Um, anyway, I learned that I was harboring some old resentment and heartbreak from when I was a child. And we tend to take those first experiences of a new emotion like heartbreak and we make a tape for it in our brain, which is what I did. And uh, until we release that, we will play that same tape over and over and over again. 
we will uh, have the same exact reaction we did the first time it happened. It'll feel exactly the same way it did when it happened to you the first time. And you need to release it. So, in essence, what I was doing was walking around looking for situations that I could play that tape. And in essence, self-sabotaging my relationships and then exhibiting that same behavior and reaction that I did the first time it happened to me. Once you realize you're doing this, it's very easy to let it go. I want you to go down to the link below this in the description and click on the little article I wrote about release and it will teach you how to get rid of these things in five minutes. A five minute release method will change your life. We need to release this stuff so we can move on, move forward. It's getting a little noisy. So I'm gonna end the walk today, but thanks for walking with me today. Do yourself a favor, get out. Do some walking. Get some sun on your face. Get your blood flowing. Till next time, share and subscribe.